Hey, do you remember Mutant Muds that came out for the Nintendo Entertainment System, then the Sega Master System, then got ported to Sega Genesis and also Super Nintendo? It was also a Japanese import uh, that was came out for the PC Engine, then the last version that got ported was for the Sega CD. Of course not, because this game never came out for any of those systems, but this is a really, really fun game. If you like platforming games, old old school retro fun you really have to check out this game now I didn't really know what to call this type of game uh, just from an artistic standpoint and then when I went to the iTunes link the developer actually calls it 12-bit that's because you know the colors are really rich and sharp uh, the audio is CD quality audio and it just looks really really nice on especially on the retina display so it takes the good and the bad and the ugly from retro gaming and newer technology and mashes it into this nice giant goobly goo of 12-bit gaming. So that's what we're going to call it, 12-bit gaming, but it's a throwback to 8-bit gaming and 16-bit gaming. Now what I really do like about this game is how you interact with the level. As you see, I'm going to go into the back of this screen and there's like another world, you know, kind of like another game within this game at the same time so it's a little it's a little funky and kind of cool actually now I will say that this game is challenging there are some jumping elements in this game that are hard um, there are other platformer games where they're much easier um, there was a poly roll which for the uh, iPhone iPod touch and iPad that I reviewed that's a really great game and it's a lot of fun but this game is much harder this game is going to be a little bit more for uh, more experienced players. Even though I'm a huge fan of Gunman Clive, this game is harder than Gunman Clive, uh, especially during the regular levels. Now the bosses in Gunman Clive, they're they're pretty tough. Um, and one that just jumping on these platforms and getting the timing just right, it's challenging. So what I'm going to do is, that, like I said, I'm going to put the iTunes link in the description box of this video. And simply just click on it, download it on your uh, Windows computer or Mac computer, whatever. Or simply just search for Mutant Muds in the iTunes store and you just download it right over there. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. If you guys are new to my videos, please hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to just take a quick, 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 quick little second to help me out, is please hit that like button. It does help promote the video. It keeps me challenged to make more videos and when I do a little bit better on YouTube you know it's good for gaming it's good for me it's good for you guys it's good for everybody so if you can help me out please help by just clicking the like button so once again guys this has been mp4podcast.com signing out and you have a great day later guys bye